Hello, this is Blake from Epicville United bringing you the first PBR battle ever. And to start things off, I'll start with my Jirachi Selby team. Yes, my favorite team. Got J Rod, Zeeb, Leaf Fairy, Pilot Flygon, Spinner, and Skulls. And I'll start out with the classic beginning of. J-Rod and Skulls with Zeeb and Spinner in reserve. And I am fighting, I think it's an American trainer, Trinity, with a team that I don't respect at all. So some of the Pokemon they put on it. Anyway, here goes, we go to Neon Coliseum, and I'm a little crazy with the cursor. Whatever! And he starts out, or she starts out, sorry, with Salamence and Lapras. And, um, Salamence gets the Intimidate off on both my Pokemon, which is probably why my electric attacks didn't hurt Lapras as much as I thought they would. Whatever. Um, I saw a Hydro Pump coming from a mile away, and, uh, I decided to bring Marowak back. Or Skulls. And I put Zeeb out. Yeah, we're going on Zeeb! Yeah, it would be. It looks like it's gonna be him on top out. I'm not. I'm gonna put Zeeb out. Um, I also go for Thunder on Lapras, and I hate Lapras. Lapras is so resistant to everything, and it's got beastly attacks. So in goes my Marowak, back to my Master Ball. Yeah, Master Ball. And out comes Zeeb. And I get the attack raise from Download, and J Rod misses the Thunder. Yeah, J Rod, A Rod, I thought it was funny. Funny in my head. Of course, I see the Hydro Pump, not for the Salamence, but the Hydro Pump comes off and hits Zeeb for about half. And Lapras misses. You stupid Lapras, you missed. You have epically missed. So I go for another Thunder, hoping I can hit it. And I go for the Try Attack, my most trusty attack on Salamence. My most powerful attack is, you know, I've got the Zap Cannon and the Hyper Beam, and thankfully I've got a lock on for the Zap Cannon. But it takes too long for the two turn setup. It's like everyone would prefer to do a solar beam during a sunny day so you don't have to charge it. But whatever. Uh, Tri Attack gets off and does a decent amount of damage. Decency. Hooray. Um, half. And the Thunder gets off. And does, again, about half. I don't like. That's not super effective. And Serene Grace paralyzes it. Huzzah for my Serene Grace. And he goes for Outrage and destroys Zeeb. I wish I would have gotten more action out of Zeeb today, but no, I'll get more out of him eventually. And yay, I got Parahax. Huzzah! Parahax! And um, I go in and send out Spinner, the Hitmon Top. Actually, for a while that was my favorite Pokemon, but now it's Jirachi. J Rod the Jirachi! And I go for another Thunder, just begging for a critical. And I go for the close combat on Salamence, also begging for the critical. So if I get the criticals, then I'm in the good zone. But I don't. I get a super effective, and it lives. It lives. That is why I hate Lapras. Uh, Outrage does about nothing to my Jirachi, because it's beastly in defense. And, of course, I can't get him out with close combat. I... I... Close combat is my best move on Hitmontop, and I can't get you out with it. Anyway, with the lower defense, I don't get the Parahax, and it really hurts my Hitmontop a lot. So you go for the Swift, and only reason being is I can knock out Lapras and maybe with the critical knock out Salamence, but it sets up for a rapid spin, which is not my best attack, but whatever. I get the Swift off with yay, 100 accuracy, knock out Lapras, didn't get anything really on Salamence, but enough. Yeah, Lapras, you just got served by Swift! No one uses Swift! So, Outrage again with Jirachi. Doesn't do anything. Thank God it didn't hit him on top. Him on top gets the rapid spin off and knocks out Salamence. The Uber! Yeah, I gotta have a Boot Spear 21. He's the funniest guy ever. It's so sad to see him leave you two. Yo, if Prince Boo is watching this, I loved your battles. Please start him again. <laughs> I hope to follow in your legacy. 
Even though you weren't, you didn't award me with one of your wonderful passes. Oh well. I have my own. So he goes out with Lucario and freaking Dialga. 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 And that just made me real mad. With a freaking Dialga out there. I'm gonna get owned. I'm gonna get owned by Dialga. But whatever. I go for Doom Desire on Dialga because... I don't know. I just thought it was a good idea. I really just stopped I, I stopped thinking here at this point. <laughs> Close combating the Lucario just seemed so fitting for me, even though Lucario is a fighting type, but you know, that's what, how brain dead I am. I get off Doom Desire, but it was a pointless Doom Desire. And focus blast! Busted! Busted by Focus Blast! I just love Love. Sometimes this guy's funny. Sometimes this guy can be funny. Busted by Focus Blast. The, the judge judgment has been done. I just love those. But anyways, um, I get owned, 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 owned by a Dragon Pulse and a Focus Blast. And all I got is Marowak. But if the cards fall my way, Marowak can't pull this off. By Bomberang Lucario, even though I'm freaking intimidated, the return should get it out. And just begging for, like, if, if I'm faster than Lucario, I can get it out. And then if I survive a war of time, which I know is coming, because that's like a finisher, since I've only got one guy left. If I would have survived that, I could have hit it with Bomberang or Double Edge. But no, he gets up close combat, and I am below half now. And of course, I was right. Here comes War of Time. Boom! And anyways, that wasn't the best debut, but I actually I did better than I thought I would. You know, I wish I would have won, but whatever. You'll see wins eventually, like next. But oh well, I guess that's it. Blake from Ecclefield United signing out.